Eh. Oh, way to go off my recipes. Where did it go? Buttermilk, fried chicken. Buttermilk, fried chicken, buttermilk, fried chicken. Okay, so I did that, did that, did that, that. Did all that. Uh, plain Greek yogurt, dill, kind of powder, parmesan. Oh, I need a different parmesan. Whoops. Fuck me. That also needed to be refrigerated? It doesn't need to be refrigerated for an hour. Screw that. That's gonna be fine. I will cook that. It does not need to be refrigerated for an hour. That's stupid. No need for it. Okay. So, I'm going to make this dill dressing first. I did not need to get two cups, one and a half cups of the yogurt. Uh, we're gonna make that first just to give the chicken a little more time in the fridge. In the marinade, so I need yogurt. Whoops. So I got yogurt, uh, dill, garlic powder, lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, which is supposed to be grated. I did not get grated. Whoops. That's that. I, I did not get grated Parmesan cheese. I got shredded. <laughs> uh, dill and garlic powder. Oh, where is our dill going to be? Right there. Got it. Dill, garlic powder. I need to get some new garlic powder to replace what we have. Because this is getting hard. Okay. So this is more like a cup. So we're just gonna we're gonna estimate everything because screw it, why not, right? Screw it, why not is the name of a song. No, it's not. Well maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know all the songs in the world. I don't know all the songs in the world. I'm just taking a wild guess. Okay, really. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. Billions of probiotics. Ugh. Hate how yogurt looks when you first pull it out. Can I get as much out of here as I can? Pretty good though. Let's do a quick stir. Alright, that got kind of a good little mix in. So, I need dill. Yeah, that's dill. Pretty sure that's dill. Smells like dill. This is three tablespoons. So definitely want to put a good amount. I like that much. It says three tablespoons, but I'm not doing the full one of the cups. So garlic powder. That's probably plenty. It says one teaspoon, so that's definitely plenty. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. That's good. And then a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So what I'm going to do is actually take this in my hand as I take it out and kind of smash it between my hands a bit just to try and make it more fine of a grate at least or more fine of a shred. But it's not going to be perfect because I didn't read the full directions unfortunately because I'm a dirt to dirt. Cause I'm a derp to derp a derp a derp a derp. But this seems like it should at least work, hopefully. It'll just be a little bit more cheesier in spots, which is fine. Cheesy spots aren't too big of a deal, really. And one more little scoop, and then that should be plenty. And then we'll pretty much. And then we'll get the mixture for the skin of the sandwich. And then we'll get the chicken pulled out and ready to go. And then this will this will sit in the fridge for a little bit. It won't be the full hour that it says, but oh well, it will be fine. 
Holy crap, that smells delicious though. Holy smokes, that Parmesan is like, wow. I don't know why that smells so good. Yeah, I think it's good that I only did one rather than two. Let's just try this. Oh my god. Mmm. Ooh. I may have put a little too much of them in, but that is still very tasty. Damn. It is. Wow. A little too much lemon is pretty okay, though. What I'm going to do is actually try and even out a little bit with a little bit more parmesan and a little more dill. Just try and get a little bit more of that parmesan flavor in and a little bit more of that dill flavor. But that is some damn good food or like yogurt. Okay, so that's the parmesan. That way. Do do do. Throw a little more dill in there. There we go. That should be good. And a little more garlic powder just to try and even it out a little bit with everything. Okay, I'm going to mix again. Get it all mixed together. All nice and even as much as possible. Scrape off the sides because you want every you want to get everything in that you mixed in. You don't want to miss anything. Like come on. Alright, let's try this again. Mm. Oh that helped a lot. Yum. Perfect. Put that in the fridge. We're gonna do a quick wipe down real quick. Quick wipe down at the counter. You can't see it, but there's cheese like everywhere. Well, maybe you can see it just from what I can tell you can't see it. So that's literally me guessing that you can't see it. I could be completely lying because I could be completely wrong. Okay. Okay, so now we need to get the flour ready. What I, I do need to see if it just goes. Make the season flour. Okay. Oh shoot! I needed to give us more space. Um. I guess I can move. I'm gonna move the oil because I want you guys to see this, obviously. But I didn't really give my laptop enough room. So I'm only going to build mine. I'm not going to build Zach's because I don't know exactly how he wants his. For one and two, I don't want it to get soggy. Okay. One second. So I was moving the fry. I moved the fryer over. So. In a minute, you'll be able to see that. Uh, I should actually get that started. I need to find the plug. Yes. As I almost cut myself, because why not? Because that would have been that would have been good, right? Oh, turn on this slice. This is a little easier to see everything. What does this need to be at? Um, three fifty. Three hundred fifty degrees. Okay, so right in the center is about right. I'm not sure it has some floor in there. That should be enough, hopefully. Guess we'll find out. Oh god, there's stuff all chunked in here. Come on. I'm just cleaning off strain. You don't need to worry about it. Don't worry at all. I don't know what we used this for last. I mean, we need to do like a deep clean on this thing soon. 
It's got like some chunks from the last few times we've used it. How do you... Ooh, that feels a lot looser than it used to. No, no, no. How do you suggest cleaning a deep fryer, like, well? And I just got oil all over the counter again. Alright, so, back to this. So what do we need? We need, we need, we need, we need flour, salt, black pepper, so there's black pepper, salt, cayenne powder, garlic powder, Jesus, I just put all this away, garlic powder, cayenne powder, whoopsie, uh, the vegetable oil over there, and then we need flour, pull that down. There you go. So we're still not going to use quite as much as it says. It says to use two cups, but that's for eight chickens. We're not making eight chickens, we're doing two. So we'll do like a cup of flour. That should be enough. Actually, let me grab a fork to use to mix all this stuff around. So we're just, I got a half cup of half cup right now, so there's one as I make a mess all over my counter because that's what I do to, like legit, if you don't know me by now I make a mess everywhere because I'm just so good at making a mess I don't know why but I am, okay so I'm just going to put that away okay, so how much uh, black pepper? Two teaspoons, so about that much. Uh, salt, one tablespoon, so about that much. Uh, kind of garlic powder, about one tablespoon. That's about half, perfect. And then one and a half teaspoons of cayenne. That's good. You don't want to put too much cayenne. Cay a little bit of cayenne goes a long way. Just so you know. I always forget this and I always put too much. So I make things a little spicier than they need to be. But you know, spicy tastes good. So I'm not too worried about it. So then we're going to mix this all together. Okay, so... And salt, pepper. Dip the marinated chicken in the flour mix until the chicken is completely covered. So I'm gonna grab a plate. Well, no, we don't need a plate. We're just gonna mix both of them in here like crazy. This is still heating up though, it's not quite ready. It's working, it's waiting. At least I don't think it's ready. I don't remember how to tell. Carefully. I wish I did, but I don't. Okay, so what all do we need for the sandwiches? Uh, paper towel, lined paint, or wired rack, so we'll get that ready. So that's easy enough, because that will be able to drain. Okay, so just doing a double layer just to make sure. So we're gonna put move that and put that aside next to the whatever this is called. We have a thermometer. Where's that thermometer? Oh no, wrong thermometer. We need an instant read thermometer because all we have right now is this little thing. That's okay, but hopefully not the greatest. So have that ready. I was getting ready to poke a chicken. Okay. Um. Okay, it wants us to toast the buns on a skillet. I'm just going to toast it in the toaster, which I put away. No, I didn't. I just moved it. Never mind. Because you don't need 
to toast on a skillet. Like literally, I'm not gonna turn on a skillet just for toast. I'm just gonna to toast it. Um, build the sandwiches. Lettuce, fried chicken, tomato slices, dill dressing. Oh, I need to cut up some tomato. Let's cut up some tomato real quick. Hot, it's heating up. I'm just gonna put everything out to the side, ready to make it. Um, Spinach time. What else did I say it needed? Guys, tell me, what did I say it needed? Well, I need the butter, I know that. Uh, lettuce, fried chicken, tomato. Oh, and the dressing, which is going to stay in there for now. Uh, and I said, bring out butter. That's what we got. We got brioche buns. Okay, so let's slice some tomato because that's what you're staring at right now. So I'll get rid of the top, get rid of the bottom. Whoop de doo all day. Floop. We're going to make them nice tomato rounds because that's what's going to go good on this bun. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Three slices each. Perfect. Okay, so that's still working. Are you there yet? Because I'm pretty sure the green light turns off once it's there. Pretty sure. I think so. Yeah, so I'm just trying to like wait on it. <laughs> okay, so that's all I need for that, so that can go away. Let's go over here. Yeah, my plate, because we'll build this, we'll probably build it over there, maybe. I don't know, we'll pro we might build it over here. I don't know yet, I don't know my plan. Um, tongs, I should probably grab tongs. <laughs> Go grab some tongs. Uh, let's pause the chicken and start getting it in the thingy. Okay. So this is what the chicken looks like in the marinade. I'll make enough room so I can drain this. There we go. Now I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick, because I feel gross instantly. Okay. Still says working. I don't know if I have one that I can use to check the temperature in it. Okay. Let's grab the two chickens. You know what? Let's just use my hands. You know, I'm actually going to do a quick... Feel around the whole thing, make sure I got all the chunky soap off, that's fine. Like the hard chunks, I don't want hard chunks on this. Okay, so that one's good. I think this one feels pretty good too. There we go. Alright. Into... There it goes. And then we just mix it around. And get this covered with all of this the best we can. Just pack that flour on your chicken. Pack it! Pack it! Pack it! You know, like in your backpack, Door of the Explorer, you know, yeah? Who's seen the Door of the Explorer movie? I have not. I don't plan on it either. I don't know if they have survived. The the only thing I want to know is if they have a swiper on there. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Okay, I think that's actually covered pretty. There's a couple spots missing like right there. Okay, I think I got it pretty well covered on all spots. Pretty sure. Now my hands are completely covered in raw chicken and that. Can, will this help dissolve? No, that just made it drippy. That was a bad plan. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I don't. I don't have. I should have left one hand normal. I know you guys can't see my hands. I'm just trying to rinse the hell out of them right now to get all of that chunky off. Chunk, chunk, chunky off. Ah, this is so gross feeling. Like hell. Don't worry, this will all be washed tonight. That is quite good at washing stuff. Okay, I don't. I think I can use one of. I think I can use the big thermometer. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna bring you guys over here as well. The best that I can. Everything's in my way though. Don't worry, I'm still going to get you over a little better. Just give me just a minute. I just got to clean off this side of the counter real quick. Then I can scooch you guys just a little bit. Okay. Should have plugged the laptop or the monitor in on the other side. Also move this a little bit farther over. No, I'm not gonna screw with that. You guys will just have to see from right there. Whoa, hello. Okay, I'm gonna make I'm gonna close this. Close Discord. That should help. Thirty-eight percent, lovely! So many skip frames. Sure that can why don't you just stay up? Why don't you? Why don't you just stay up, huh? Okay, so we have this big thermometer. Where'd it go? Right there. It needs to be at 350. It's going up pretty quick, so I'm guessing it's just about there. Sub past 250, sub past 300. Oh God, I'll be getting close. Oh, it's so close right now. Sub past 330. Come on, 350, 350, come on. All right, like 340. 349. 350! Yes, we made it. Okay. Literally, as soon as that turned off. God damn it. Okay, so it does turn off when it's ready. Okay, so we're gonna pull the basket up and out. Fully. Okay. So just be very careful with this. Um, oh, we're gonna do one at a time. I wanted to do both, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. Let's get that covered. Hey Siri. Where's my phone? Set a seven minute timer. Okay, seven minutes and counting. Yeah, so it said cook for seven minutes. Now I gotta grab it. I gotta grab. Well, no, it should be okay. Just using the tongs that I grab. Ooh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah! I'm gonna move that right there. Listen to that sizzle. I'm so glad we have a deep fryer. It makes this so much easier. So we don't have to, like... Like, we can do it in something that's much smaller than having to do a pot. Which is nice. 
I just love listening to that sizzle, like, it's, it's like an ASMR, it's a sizzle. Maybe I should name this, uh, cooking ASMR. Maybe I should do a cooking ASMR eventually. I don't know with what it's like. Or what I would cook. I don't know if I can do one, because I'm just so loud and I don't, I've never liked ASMR. I've never, I just can never get into it. It's interesting. It's just not something for me. But, you know, everyone has their wants and preferences. That's like cooking. I'm posting this on Twitter. Even though I'm loud. There you go. You got it. Everyone needs to know all the ASMR I'm doing. Because, you know, it's, it's a huge thing. The thing that everyone does. I wonder if that seven minutes takes into account that... Uh, if it takes into account like the drop in temperature that it'll have once the chicken hits. And then I'll have to give it a couple minutes to probably warm back up before we do the secondary chicken. Because that's what kind of happens. A pump outside. I need several pumps. Oh, it's just a prop. Probably doing something else with the houses next door that are going up, you know. Don't you just love it when houses are being built? Like all the loud noises they make? It is so much fun. Like all the time. But, you know, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? There's like it's like three houses going up all at one time. That's that's the issue. If it was like one house going up, not too bad. But three, like almost a little overkill. But I guess people need to make their money, so. Just listen to that sizzle. Listen to that sizzle as I whisper, even though my computer is probably super loud and buzzy. But I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this. Because I don't do it. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so crispy. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be so good. This should definitely cook it all the way through. Because it wasn't the thickest chicken. Should be golden brown and crispy. Golden brown and crispy. Da da da. Da da. I kind of think. No. I was thinking of putting some mayo on it, but with the dill sauce, I don't think so. I think that would be too much. Sauce. Like, it should be one or the other, pretty much. It's only got two more minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Awesome. Looking at this lady's perler beads. She does a good job, and I, I'm hoping I could eventually make those as well. Like, be as good as her. I think I do okay sometimes. Where it's just a jar of 
peanut butter. I kind of want to do a stream of just a jar of jelly. Hi! What time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock, so as soon as I put the other chicken in, I will feed my carrot cat. We actually didn't get sick too long ago. He, he, he's being a dum-dum and eating stuff off the floor, which he's not supposed to do. Dum-dum. I love my cat, but sometimes he's a dum-dum. I love my cat, but sometimes he's a dum-dum. It doesn't make smart decisions. Hello. Millennial next to no internet here, but I wanted to stop by and say hi and drop a f Well, thank you, Millennial. <laughs> that is how you say it. I'm gonna call, say, call you Mill. Hey, Mill. Well, thank you. I'm guessing you probably can't say because of it, but thank you for stopping by and welcome to the sleuth. I hope you have a great night. And get a go somewhere that has a good internet. Oh, 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 oh this looks delicious. Five, four. Three, two, one. Oh. oh my god, that so needs to be cleaned. Look at, oh my god, look how crispy that got. Oh my god. Okay, that's a thing. Okay, and it's already ready to go again, so I'm going to drop this next one. And then I'm going to go feed my cat real fast. Because he needs a feed. Just make sure this is nicely coated real quick. Give it one last dash in the powder of flour. Just to make sure it gets that crispness that it needs and wants. Okay. I'm gonna pull this fully out of this. Okay. There. That's got some bubblies! I wish I could get you guys closer to the bubblies, but I can't risk moving that and burn yourself. 77 minute timer. Okay, your timer is set for seven minutes. I am taking such a risk because my water is right next to my laptop right now. Okay, I gotta go feed Lovey real quick. I will be right back. Listen to the soothing sounds of the fryer. Alright, Lovey, you want to dinner? Yes, Lovey. I'll be your feed. sounds are soothing. So, interesting fact for you guys. So a little while ago we had some issues with uh, some sugar ants. And so we searched everywhere to try and figure out how to take care of them. And we found out a good way to take care of them is if you wipe your counters and your walls down with like a, a water and vinegar solution. It worked so well. It was so creepy how well it worked. But I was so glad it did. I'm probably going to wind up cutting into this just to make sure it is cooked all the way through. Because it's, it's not even saying it's one quarter. Of course, it may have dropped down since I pulled it out. Alright, that's gonna pass 140 now. Ooh. Oh! Yes! 160. It's gotta be 165 to be safe. I think that's 165. And this was several minutes after I pulled it out. So this one will probably be mine. Ah, so freaking hot. 
That looks like it's still slightly pink. That is going to be going back in. And we'll probably let that go for nine minutes rather than seven. Just to make sure. Damn it. Like, it's so hard to tell, though. It doesn't... Look. It looks like it might be pink in one spot. But I don't want to lose all the outside. I'll probably make this one mine. That one should cook a little faster because that one was a little thinner. Eat all the crispy skin that comes off. That's the best way to do it. So I'll probably let three minutes go and then... Uh... I'll probably do nine minutes. Cook oh, chicken, cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chicken, cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, chicken cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chicken cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chicken cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really getting greasy because it's sitting in its own grease. A wire rack would probably be better for this. I just didn't do a wire rack. Either that or maybe paper towels on both sides? I don't know. Not really sure. I've only cooked fried chicken like five times. Okay. Weird noises. I mean, no, that's not me. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's not me. That is fine. That chicken is fine. It's good. It's done. I might let this one go a little longer just to make sure. So this looks perfectly fine and done. And I'll probably make this one mine because it is falling apart. So I had to make sure it was done. I'll do this one an extra minute just to make sure. I'm just flipping it so both sides get extra crispy because it kind of, like one of the sides kind of pops out a little. Okay, so this flour can be tossed in the fridge. You cannot use that re reuse that leftover flour because that has touched raw chicken. So you cannot do that. I will fire you if you do that. So I'm going to throw a bun in the toaster. I'm going to put it nice and lightly too. And what we got from buns, we got some nice, lovely brioche buns is what we got for tonight. I'm going to go with the cat for this one. There's one way in the bag that's just kind of ripped a little bit. Not sure how, it just came like that. Kind of weird, kind of annoying. Oh, that was fast. Set a one minute timer. Let it go for the 60 seconds and then I'll be done. That skin is delicious though. I wonder what it would be like if I had left the skin on the thighs. Because I took the skin off the thighs. Or Oh, I should have saved one of the skins to crisp it just straight in the fryer. Oh, I'm doing that tomorrow. Maybe. I might do that tomorrow. That sounds delicious. Oh, you and your skipped frames. I know, laptop. You suck. I'm sorry. 
I need something stronger. I need more power. Definitely better than my I, my son though. First, a lot better. Just listen to that. So good. No, shush, shush, shush. Okay, this I'm gonna turn off. I got the wood for a second. Oh, that was almost bad. All right, look at that. That's a Yeah, that's a good one for that because it's a little bigger as well. That is definitely gonna be cooked all the way through. Like the biggest part is right here. Some issues there? Yes. There's no way you're not cooked all the way through. There's no way. I might have to cut it just to check. Like I'm trying to figure out where the thickest part is to get this in properly. That maybe? Feels like I'm just going into skin right now. And it's still on 140. Hold on. That looks good. Nah, no, he's good. That's good. It's good, it's done. <sighs> Just don't have the best thermometer for this. Like, we need an instant read one. Alright. So what I'm going to do now... Ooh, my bunch are perfect. We're going to come back over here. Start building my chicken, Sandy. Which, all right, so there is the brioche bun, nice and toasted. We're gonna throw a little butter on it. Just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. That's all you really need, because you're going to be putting other sauce on this. Hot, hot, hot. Everything is hot! Ha! Ah! Ow. There we go. Okay. Okay, so butter can be put away. Okay, so let us chicken, tomato, dill. Okay. So I'm gonna unplug this so I can start to cool down. So we're not doing lettuce, we decided to do spinach instead. We just like spinach a bit better. And with how many issues there have been with some uh, lettuce places, it's like, you know what? We'll just stick to spinach because we haven't really had any issues with that yet, so. Now once we do, who knows what will happen then. But until then, we're going to stick with spinach. I am very picky on my spinach pieces, so I kind of tend to pick my pick and choose mine out. I'll let Zach kind of let him decide how he wants to do things. I do want to get kind of a nice layer because this is a thick piece of chicken, so you do want a nice layer of spinach. Or lettuce, if that's your choice. Okay, I think that's a pretty good layer. Okay, now so let's do the chicken next. I'm gonna the dough dressing out. I'm 
Okay. So let's get the chicken over there. So I took the littler piece. Yum yum. I'm gonna flip this a little bit. Try and keep it from getting soggy. Don't grab my tomatoes. My sauce. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of sauce before the tomatoes just to try and hold the tomatoes on. You know what? I'm actually gonna put the tomatoes on the bottom, I think. Just to try and hold it in better. There are spinach stay on. So we'll see how that goes. May or may not work. Okay, I'm just gonna lay the sauce on the top bun. I think that's just gonna make it a lot easier to do. Alright, look at that. Probably take a couple pictures for the interwebs. Oh yeah! Now that's some delicious looking food. Looks restaurant quality if you ask me. And I had to remove the bone and the skin. I think I did a pretty damn good job. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna take two photos. Gonna take one like that. And then we're gonna put the bun right on top of that chicken. Oh, yes. And make a nice little. Ooh. Bloop. There we go. I had to get a couple pictures. Gotta send that to like my dad and stuff. So My dad likes to cook. So he likes to see when we cook. When Zach and I cook. So, yeah. Alright. Let's take a nice big bite of this, huh? Why don't we? How? Why don't we? And I'm also gonna start pulling up some Twitch. Oh shoot! Hey, nerd wife is on. I know who we're rating after we're done. Ha ha. So I'm actually gonna reset my Twitch real quick. And we're gonna take a bite. Hmm. Holy crap. I'm just, I'm just gonna take it in for a minute. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. The toast on the bun, the crispness of that chicken, the sweetness of the tomato, the mellow with the acidic from the Dill seasoning sauce thing we made. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what a perfect chicken sandwich looks like. Mm. This is glorious. That is delicious. Maybe I'll just open my own food truck. That's what I'm going to do, I think. Just open a food truck and just make this. That's it. Just make a ton of these. Oh, it's so good. I could sell them for like 10 bucks and everyone would be so happy to pay it. Oh, that's so good. You get 10 out of 10, making this again. You guys need to make this. But now I need to go enjoy this on my own. So I'm going to send you over to the Nerd Wife. 
because I I need time alone with my chicken sandwich. <laughs> it is that good, I'm straight up. So I'm gonna go raid the nerd wife. <laughs>